Thank you, drummer Mike. Hi, everyone. My name is Michael Messina. I'm the moderator for the Jammin' on the Plaza event at Hoover Public Library. But since we're all needed to stay home and stay safe, uh, I decided to beam to you uh, from my basement. So welcome to the first episode of Jammin' in the Basement. And today is going to be a pretty simple episode where, um, you know, I crave playing with, with musicians. Uh, I'm in a band myself, and uh, since I can uh, jam uh, with my buds, or with anyone for that matter, um, I, uh, y you know, I get tired of playing by myself and all that. Uh, so, uh, you know, I have uh, a routine that I do uh, where I play with a looper uh, in between rehearsals with the band. Uh, and that's a good way for me to stay sharp and to explore uh, and uh, try to find new patterns on the guitar or, or just, you know, just express myself and have fun. Um, but uh, I know not everybody has a looper. All right, so um, what you'll need to do what I'm about to show you is uh, a phone. I'm using an iPhone uh, and some sort of aux cord. Uh, and this aux cord is going to beam this sound to some bigger speakers that you got around the house. Maybe some in the garage, maybe in your room. Uh, but uh, that's going to be essential, is just these two things. You won't need a looper for today's lesson. You're sort of doing a DIY looper. Now, uh, so I've opened up the Keezy Drummer app, and this is what it sounds like. And so that's the pattern that I created. And I'll uh, beam pictures of... Uh, what each individual one is doing, but I just basically have the the kick going on the one and the three and the snare going on the two and the four and some eighth or sixteenths uh, going on the hi-hat and uh, Yeah, and it's just a simple beat that I created and you can have fun creating your own um, But what you'll do is you'll use that and then you're gonna have that play and then you just open up your voice memo and you start recording. So I'm gonna vo open up voice memo right now. You'll see. And the Keezy Drum Ramp will play as it records. And so then you have somebody keeping time. It's a little more uh, chill than a metronome, which is just ah, ah, ah. And then you play along. This is what you see when you open up the app. When you press the plus button in the middle, you can create more drum patterns. And when you press uh, on a circle, uh, any one of the colored circles, uh, a menu appears that you can scroll through to choose your desired sound, like kick, snare, hi-hat, or whatever. And um, you'll see all the light circles. When you press those and you darken them, that's where the sound will play in the loop. Now my drum loop is creating a 4-4 time signature with the kick on the 1 and the 3 and the snare on the 2 and 4 of a 4 count phrase. Now you'll need to take note of the multiple panels in each loop uh, where the 4 count phrase is lengthened uh, in reality to an 8 count phrase. I have the hi-hat sounds making 8th notes and the clap sound playing accents off the snare. Um, and if you notice in the bottom uh, left of the app, you will see uh, a little uh, square with a dot on top of one of the corners. When you touch that, that uh, will reveal the uh, tempo 
uh, of the loop and you can adjust that. So for example, mine is set to 90 BPM. Now, uh, so you can see the kick uh, panel now. And again, I have mine on the one and the three of the 4-4 phrase. Uh, and again, be sure to put uh, the kick snare and whatever sounds you create when you create your drum loop, uh, if it's necessary or called for uh, by swiping the panel uh, over and putting like uh, definitely like say the kick on the one and the three. Okay, uh, you'll see uh, here I have my snare sound on the two and the four of the four four phrase. Next, uh, the hi-hats create the eighth notes over the phrase when you input them like so. Again, you'll want to put them on the second panel. And lastly, on the second panel only, you can see on the four uh, count of the phrase and uh, the accent of that fourth count uh, is where I have my clap sound. All right. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to be doing uh, a 12 bar blue phrase and I'm going to be playing an E. So I'll do an E, then an A, back to E. And you could do a, you could do a B7, you could do a B chord, you could do a B power chord. You could do everything. You kind of just play at your skill level. But you're going to be playing, the, the three chords you're using are E, A, and B. Uh, and you can do variations of those chords depending on your skill level or um, where you want to explore. Um, now, in the demonstration I'll do, I mainly want to be walking an E on the guitar. Uh, and the cool thing about playing along with the Keezy Drummer app is it's going to help you keep time. Uh, and that repetition of actually playing, you know, I track comes out about four or five minutes so I had to play the phrase along with the drummer app while I was recording for that length of time and when you were sitting there listening to the timing follow along with those hi-hats it's just gonna help you keep time better as a musician so it is a good exercise um, in its own right to just play along and force yourself to listen and think about the dynamics and of your playing even though it is just a little phone that you're playing into uh, and without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration so you have a better idea of, uh, of what I'm talking about here. Here we go. So I'm going to grab my guitar. and you have some other instruments that your bandmates left around, you can play a little electric.
love. appreciate you tuning in today uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, about this video if you leave a comment uh, on the uh, on YouTube uh, I can go ahead and, and take uh, thoughts or uh, questions into consideration there and uh, next week we're gonna talk about uh, loopers and uh, and kind of get into the nitty-gritty on that and have some fun uh, so uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed listening and I hope you picked up a little bit of knowledge or uh, maybe a way in which you can uh, express yourself in a, in a new way and, uh, and just I hope you have fun. Uh, stay safe. Stay at home. Bye.